I began Childhood Revisited because I wanted to see how the how my perception of books have changed, my relationship with them. This actually wasn't one of the books that I planned to do, but I had it out from the library anyway, so I thought I might as well. Um, I have weirdly strong memories of Say Cheese and Die, but I don't actually think Goosebumps was that big a thing here. And, oh, I don't even remember what it's called, The Mummy's Curse one. I think I read that the first time a few years ago. When I first joined Booktube, I think Bookish Realm did like a reading challenge. Um, and I think that's the first time I picked it up. But like I said, I have weirdly strong memories of Say Cheese and Die. Yeah, I don't know why that stuck in my head. I don't think I was ever like scared of it, but it really stuck. I think over here, Point Horror was actually the, the series that got big. And I think R.L. Stein did contribute it, to it. But yeah, I don't really have that fondness for Goosebumps that I feel like a lot of people have. And I don't think that's going to change. The writing is very simple and simplistic. And I do understand I am not the demographic for it. But it's not that enjoyable <laughs> for me now. Um, yeah. But I do only remember the broad strokes of it, so I am not, not quite excited to see how it plays out. Um. <laughs> So it's been a while. I I will say that I really like that the chapters are so, are so short and they're within cliffhanger. It's good for momentum. I, again, I know this is for a much younger audience, but I can't help feeling like it's almost condescending. The fact that they've said what it is and what is the effect of the camera just feels so obvious and they're all talking about like oh that that picture of our friend who fell it showed the friend falling even though the, it took the picture before he fell and oh no it shows this thing being broken even though it is not like the fact that you're anxious about this thing being shown as broken when it's not after your friend fell like you know what it is you know deep down what it is or else you wouldn't have this anxiety about it and so for like this third thing to happen and then to be like oh what could it be it's like no you know what it is <sighs> but again like I I know I feel like for its audience it's still condescending but I'm so far removed from that, that I don't know if I'm just completely out of touch. And also I want to just be clear, like this is my vlog and I'm talking about my thoughts on the book. It's fine, you know, because a thing is not obvious if it is not obvious. Um, yeah, and there are going to be people who read it at the books age group who are like oh that's obvious and there's going to be people who read it at the books age group who are like oh I did not pick up on that and that's fine uh yeah I just kind of wanted to be clear that this is not like a value judgment on whether you pick up something or not so interesting turn of events I don't think I know this book as well as I thought I did um I remember something about someone disappearing. I also remembered someone getting their photo taken and turning fat. And that was like the big thing that I took away. The, the big thing that I remembered. And it hasn't happened. And we're on page like 103 of 120 or 130 or so. 
so I don't think it's going to happen. Which is not to say that, I mean, I could, I have read other Goosebumps books and I could just be conflating them. There are also other, say, Cheese and Die books, uh, which is interesting to me in the vein of, like, I feel like it was this friend group and I feel like if you've already gone through this once, why would you do it again? Uh, but again, I do think a lot of things have just gotten like muddled in my brain. It was a long, long time ago. Um, so yeah, in a sense, that's a little bit of a relief because I was dreading it. And another... What I did not remember is how much these guys don't like each other. <laughs> they really don't like each other. They, they're sniping and, you know, they're like, oh, I don't like being called that, don't call me that, and they're calling each other that. And, yeah, it's it's not pleasant to read. Um, but this kid got, like, a concussion and now and then he starts clucking and walking about like a chicken and it's like, oh, that's... <sighs> There's sniping at someone and then it's like, this is a neurological thing, this is like, we're getting into disability now and that's a terrible way to treat someone. <sighs> wow. So, I did not expect an explanation for the camera. I was not looking for one. I am disappointed that we got one, actually. I feel like it would have been scarier to just not have an explanation at all. Um, but it's evil wizard scientist is not compelling to me. Um, And then that comment about like, oh, primitive people believe that cameras steal your souls and this one does it. And it's... <sighs> yeah, it's an old book. I'm not, I'm not expecting this to be great, especially after other moments. But still, I don't know, you, you could just have said it steals souls. Or, you know, you could just have kept it scary by not saying anything yeah and again again this wasn't a book that I expected to be doing a childhood revisited vlog for so I didn't really have any expectations it feels really weird to me that this is the one where I feel the most because I really don't have that attachment to Goosebumps and I just thought this would this would just be like a a one and done, you know, one day one day read and it's it's not been and I'm really not having a good time. <laughs> okay, so it's time for me to get very paranoid. Uh, occultist day and I know that this is very much like my my brain going into like overdrive with this I I don't like that they were going with like oh did you know that ghosts have shown up in cameras for as long as there have been cameras and I feel like the other like more precise details stories that they gave like oh uh there was an arguing argument between a couple and someone in I think the other apartment so like help flash on the tv things like that I think those are fine they can be fine but I really don't like grand statements like ghosts have always shown up on cameras <sighs> I I feel like that we have a tendency of being like, this is the modern age, people don't really believe in like legends and stuff like that anymore and I think the world is a lot more woo than people like to 
face uh, in, term, in terms of like people actually believing in the stuff. And I will like straight up tell you I myself am an, an animist um, and like very unprofessionally interested in stuff like the occult and it's <laughs> the fact I love the ghoul boys but the fact that there are all these technologies and that people believe in them is just very concerning to me and I don't like grand statements like that uh, but there was also like a uh, kind of character profile for the camera and I thought that was really cute um, and funny. Uh, I'm trying to think of nice things to say. Um, Bird did not like being called Bird, but there was a part in the book where it was like, he stalked across the field, and I thought that was just fun wordplay, and very descriptive, and it just lit up my brain and was absolute joy. Um, and I think they were trying to go a little bit too hard for like, oh, big climax. Uh, but the actual ending, like the last sentence, fucking perfect, gorgeous. Uh, 10 out of 10, no notes. Hello. This is what I was... <sighs> Where in the fuck? Never mind. Um, <clears throat> I did finish the second book. I had to skim towards the end, it was the day the book was due back, um, so I didn't have as much time with it as I wanted, but it was interesting. Um, I don't really want to call it a culture of literalism. Uh, yeah, there was, there was a kind of, you know, a curse that was like, if you do X then like break into the tomb then me. Why fall upon you? Um, but I don't really want to like engage with Orientalism because it, I'm tired. <laughs> I just don't want. I'm in pajamas again. Um, a thing I didn't like about Seiji's and Dai is how little they seemed like friends. How antagonistic they were to one another. And while that, I don't really want to say was resolved. Uh, by two of them by the end. That's kind of what happens here as well. It's handled with more depth and subtlety and just expertise, which makes sense this book came after. Um, but that was an interesting thing to note. Little comments and jabs showed up again about weight. On the brighter side, the prose was much better. I don't really, I don't, I'm finding it hard to actually explain why I didn't like the first one because stilted isn't entirely correct, but it's the closest I can come to it. Whereas this one flowed a lot better. There was more description. It was less matter of fact. Uh, it could, I kind of, brought you into things a little bit more and had more personality and that was good that was much better um so yeah i this was the one that i read most recently and i did remember it pretty well it was a lot more enjoyable and i'm just kind of pretty happy to leave it at that, or at least I was until today, and I was adding this to my um, bookshop affiliate page store thing, and I saw one of the other books and I was like, oh, now you, I vaguely remember you, and you were actually kind of scary, because none of these None of these I found scary. Which, yeah, age definitely flows into that, but I might actually go back to <laughs> go back to Goosebumps. So, 